welcome back fellow gamers to another edition of Drathmus Gaming. I'm your host Drathmus. We're looking back at Zephyr Prime versus Rainbow. Last game was pretty ridiculous. Rainbow is working out the tech, doing Siege Tank, Thor, Viking, and Prime just decimated it with some nice Infester and Broodlord play. So today we're on Taldarim Altar. Up at the top left we got our blue Terran player, Rainbow who hopefully he can bring out the big guns this time, bring down Prime. Did not mean for that to rhyme at all. But down here at the bottom left, we got our red Zerg, Zephyr Prime. See if he can do some crazy seven base play and crush Rainbow again. We got extractor play again. Getting that one extra supply. Every little bit helps when you're in professional gaming. Still doing Supply Depot in the back, going for a fast refinery before Barracks. Wouldn't be surprised if he went off the same play that he did last time. Try and throw Prime off. Be like, hey man, I know I did something crazy last game, but I'm not going to do it this time, I promise. So, got Drone Scout heading out to the east, which is the wrong way, Rainbow. We got Barracks going to do a block off, probably get an attachment down. To the right and get that supply depot down to the left for the full wall off there not let any zerglings in got a fully saturated refinery going down right now and fast expand again from prime that's standard play in these huge maps overlord scout is heading in the right direction the drone is still heading up here to the top right he's just scouting around making sure that he's still heading in the right direction once that overlord gets right to the edge, he's going to turn him back, realize that he's there, which I'm sure he already will with this drone moving up to the top right, knowing that all the bases are taken, it's got to be that last one. So spawning pool's just now going down for Zephyr Prime, which is de a little delayed compared to normal games, but it's what happens when you do a fast expand. Still no extractor, it's all minerals, mineral play right now. Got the SCV scout going for Rainbow, heading down. He went immediately to the correct spot, sending one Marine out. He's going for a reactor on top of his barracks, going to do a hot swap for his factory again. Dropping down the mules, get that production going. He's only got two SCVs in the refinery. I'm sure he's just getting enough. Ooh, got a barracks going down right at Prime's expansion. I'm going to be causing some harass with that. Got the Marine coming up. Going to pop that in. That could be cancelled if this SCV goes down. Which looks like he's having a hard time getting him with that drone. It's at 50%. That SCV's got to be a hero. Marine comes in. That should be able to stop that push from that drone. If any more Marines come in, that would be a lost expansion if you can hold it. Doesn't look like he's producing anymore, but he does have the hot swap factory going down. He's got two marines in there. And he's trying to repair. Those zerglings are slowly dying. Oh, and it goes down. That was a nice attempt, but not nearly good enough. Spine crawlers are already going down. Overlord scouting back here. See if he has any hidden tech. Doing a tech lab on his barracks. Still pumping out a lot of Hellions. Try and do some early game harass. But that is going to be stopped dead in its wake with these spine crawlers and Queen standing right at the front. Got a Zergling holding this middle Zelnaga. Both Zelnaga towers. There's no way anything's going to come through. He's going to know these Hellions are coming through. Roasting that Zergling. And they are just going to push on through. And say screw you Zerglings, got Evolution Chamber to try and reduce that little push area. Hellions are going to try and sneak on by without taking a headbutt from the spine crawler. He's going to get in and there's no defenses so these drones are going to be roasted. Gotta pull them away. Getting a few kills here and there. That queen is way too slow. Follow the V8 engine of the Hellion or whatever they're using. Roasting all of those drones. Got six kills total there on those two Hellions. Those drones are heading back home. They're trying to get us around on the Hellion. Roasting another drone. Those queens are like, get back here. I'm way too slow. He's just, Rainbows is causing massive damage with his Hellions. You would expect that this would have been expected from Prime. 
But no, he can't get any mining done. These Hellions are just being a huge pain in the ass. He got nine kills total. He's bringing down a Spore Crawler. A Spore Crawler? I guess to counter the, the something. That Hellion's got seven kills. He's sniped that last one right before he died. That was a huge loss to Prime. He had to force four Queens total. That is ridiculous. So now all Prime can do is just drone up. That's all he can do. So we got one Spine Crawler as defense. And that Spore Crawler is going to shoot up to something. I have no idea why he built that. Probably a misclick. Didn't notice it. Those Hellions are going to roast those tumors pretty easily, except that one should be nice and burrowed now. Those Hellions are going to be a nuisance. Force two more Spine Crawlers to come out. Prime has absolutely no ground army. So this crazy amount of Marauders, and this is going to be an all-in push from Rainbow. He's got all his SCVs here to repair his Hellions, soak up most of the damage, and that... Prime just leaves. No GG from Prime. Alrighty, so that was a pretty pretty ridiculous push. Those two those two crazy Hellions were, were able to smash down all of Prime's income. You notice this all-in push. Got 18, 16 SCVs here. That's just going to soak up a lot of damage. He's got stim pack done already. Got a lot of Hellions here. He realized that he was done for. So that's game number two, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be stepping on to game number three just momentarily. Stay tuned.